Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is Bixie, which is a small device that recognizes gestures. So you can move your hand closer or farther, or left or right, and it does different things depending on, on that. So it can be paired through an Android smartphone with all sorts of different devices. So you can pair it with uh, Bluetooth speakers, smart home things like smart home uh, light bulbs, and you can adjust the lights, you can adjust the volume, you can adjust media playback using just your hands. So if you don't want to touch your phone for some reason, you can't pull it out of your pocket, your hands are wet because you're in the kitchen cooking, this is something that allows you to interact with it uh, without touching it. It's on sale in, in France for um, already and it's going to be available in the United States in March for about $99. And later this year, in time for the holiday season, they're going to be releasing a second generation module, which um, you can see is a little bit different. It has a display on the front, but it also supports, uh, in addition to gestures, it supports voice recognition. And they say whisper to Amazon Alexa because it uh, supports Amazon's voice service, but you don't need to shout, you don't need, it doesn't work here across the room. The idea is if you're nearby, if it's on your nightstand, uh, you can sort of speak quietly and it should be able to hear you without disturbing other people who are nearby. So it supports Amazon Alexa integration. It supports the same sort of gesture controls as you move your hand closer or farther or left or right. And um, it can pair with all the same sorts of devices, but it doesn't necessarily need your phone to be nearby because this particular model is, uh, it supports Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth. So if you have one that you leave in your uh, living room and one that you leave in the bedroom, you can, uh, you can still interact with it. Uh, now the first generation model also has a magnet on the back so you can attach it to your refrigerator or anything else that you might want to use. You can put it in your car and it'll attach as well. And uh, maybe you can show me the, the app, uh, the smartphone app. Okay. And so here's the, uh, the app that you use for, uh, for pairing it with different types of devices. So you can see the lights, the uh, smart home products, uh, GoPro cameras, and it also supports IFTTT. Uh, so if you wanted to, you could uh, uh, connect it to all sorts of different things that uh, support that protocol. Uh, IFTTT, if you're not familiar, stands for if this, then that. And it allows you to use a web-based interface and a smartphone app to, uh, to automate all sorts of different processes. So that's a quick look at Pixie, the first generation product, sells for about $99 starting in March. Pricing hasn't been determined on the second generation model yet, and it should be available by the 2017 holiday season. So this is Brad Linder with Pixie at CES 2017.